Hi everyone. So today uh, I am going to do another, well the same thing as the last time, just opposite colors. I want to make a set out of these, like um, just a contrasting set. The last painting I did, I'll try to put a picture like here or somewhere. Uh, and maybe a card if you want to go see that video. Um, I used blues and a little bit of purple, uh, teal and gold. And today what I'm gonna do is uh, oranges, a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of a kind of a burnt orange just to dull it out a little bit and metallic blue uh, to contrast with the gold. And at the same time I think it's gonna go and like really make them match more because I don't have any orange in the other one I had gold which is kind of yellow but I think that with a little bit of blue in this one uh, the, it, they are really gonna match and contrast at the same time and it's gonna be nice I haven't forgotten uh, about the black canvas and the white canvas comparison um, I should have um, uh, like uh, made it clear one of my cat did something uh, well anyway I should have made it clear with my friend uh, what kind of colors he wanted <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, I think I'm gonna do that like next video I'm gonna have a small canvas and a well two small canvas a black one and a white one so for today, I mix my paints the usual way. I have one heavy body paint, uh, the red, well, it's Naftalo Red Light, it's kind of a red orange. And for this, I mixed uh, um, about 40 to 60 percent paint. What I did because I used a heavy body paint is I add a little bit of medium just to uh, make the paint a little bit more fluid. I mix it, uh, mix it real well. And then I add the rest of my ratio, the rest of the medium that I need. This way I avoid clumps. And I have uh, one high flow acrylic and a fluid acrylics. Those I mix one part paint to 10 part medium. For the fluid acrylics I use about 10% water. And for the heavy body acrylic about 25% water. And for the high flow acrylic about 5% not even and in the white the white I mix differently because I want to keep it dense and heavy to get cells and effects and the way I do that is no water about 40% uh, paint to 60% medium that's it uh, the water would make it less dense and the fact that it's more paint to medium uh, mean it's more dense as well because uh, the more pigment there is in the mix the denser it is and uh, yeah this one this one is kind of a fluid acrylic a little bit thicker maybe I mixed it uh, the same way uh, as the rest just a little bit more paint actually like two part paint to eight part medium and then 10 to 15 percent water it's a little thicker than usual the, the fluid acrylics so I probably added more water but basically you want it to where it will um, kind of drip but not drip kind of form a filament of your brush when you lift it up uh, so yeah gonna zoom you in and get started with this and try not to forget to record this time all right so I'm going to pour white and equal parts my white looks lumpy I think I had lumps in my GC 800 it was the well it was almost empty basically now 
which one is the heaviest? That's the question. Those are uh, pretty much colors that I've never used except the pyro orange and the diorite yellow. The metallic blue, I have no idea uh, of its on its density as well. It's sold up in most of the paintings I used, so I was quite surprised by that actually. I know that diorite yellow is really really light. That's gonna be the last. Naphthol red light is also quite light. It goes between the vat orange and the pyro orange, which must be really similar. So what I did is put the pyro orange first, vat orange second, well in the oranges anyway. Then I'm gonna go with the blue. I'm really not sure it's gonna be any lighter than the naphthol red and diorite yellow. But it seems to be lighter than the orange. Oh, I noticed I dripped paint all around. It's okay. The canvas is still wrapped, so it's not gonna ruin the canvas. And notice how I use the side of the cup to really pour gently and really try to stack the paint on top of each other as much as possible. It's done. Let's flip this. All right, so it's gonna keep changing a little bit, but I think most of the cells have popped up and uh, the paint is still pretty much. I quite like this. I did not expect the blue to come up as much as it did. Uh, I, I think it's really, really light in density. I have no idea on the co pigment composition of this painting or the composition at all. It's not a brand that I usually use and it's not a brand that I know. Uh, so your guess is as good as mine. As mine. Uh, but it seemed that it was uh, much lighter than I anticipated. Anticipate, anticipate that word. Can't say it. <laughs> anticipate. No, still can't say it. Um, but yeah, I love this painting. I love the composition of this painting. It's more busy on that side. I love the line in the middle, but the line, even the line is kind of broken up here. Um, it's interesting to look at. There's uh, a lot of details to make your eye travel. 
and even where there's less detail like here there is still a bunch of lines and layers to it so it's it still is quite interesting and even like here the as i said not much detail but there's a little bit of details in there to just bring the eye back and keep the eye circulating around the canvas and i have to admit i quite like that and uh, i have to admit that <laughs> i'm a happy painter uh even though the blue did come up a lot more than i uh, expected and um like the other painting is blue with a little bit of gold and here it's like orange and blue there's not a little bit of blue like i thought there would be but uh i'm not unhappy with it i love it the, this blue is really beautiful uh it's shiny rich and uh, can't wait to see how that will dry even wet we can see a little bit of the iridescence of the blue so I have to admit that I quite like this and I'm impatient to see how it will dry and larger painting take a while to dry so I'll have to wait a couple days but you guys are lucky and you get pictures like almost right away and we're back and once again I'm sitting uh, all the way back here um, good thing I have my shower curtain there uh, it catches a lot of paint it was a good um, investment <laughs> but yeah um happy really happy with this painting um i love these huge round canvases uh, it's um not unusual like it's not the usual shape of a painting you would see but the, for an abstract painting and a colorful painting like these i think the round canvas are just perfect and I'll keep using them because I love them and they make nice paintings. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot and um, leave a comment uh, with what you think. I love reading about your, uh, your thoughts and your ideas as well. I've used uh, some of your ideas and made some cool discoveries with them. Uh, so that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>